Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Clancy with 1013 Vintage, where we talk quality thrifting and everything fancy. And I have some good stuff today. Stay tuned. I figured something out with this particular thrift store I've been going to. I've been going to a thrift store called Red, White & Blue and they primarily go off of um, coupons, like not, not coupons, but each day they have a sale off a particular colored ticket. They have 50% off, 75% off, 25% off and today I went to this, this shop early in the morning and they had 50% off on yellow, green, and blue. And can I tell you, I went around that store. I went around that store looking for everything with a tag on it. And I think I scored some things. So let me show you some of the things that I got. So one of the things I picked up, you guys know I am a fanatic over quality candles. I went and found um, two candles that I really enjoyed. And I'm gonna put, I don't know if I'm gonna put it up in the cutaway or, or the split camera where I can show you because I know you guys like me to thrift while I'm videoing. I haven't mastered that yet. I, I have to focus and I cannot hold cameras and talk at the same time. That's that's too much for me to do. So one of the candles that I got was, I talked to you guys about before, the White Barn candles. I don't know if it's part of Bath & Body Works or if it has its own store, but let me show you this White Barn candle it's it's the flavor of it is champagne toast and these candles these are like $40 candles right here and oh, it smells it smells divine whatever champagne toast is supposed to smell like this is it and it was a yellow tag for nine dollars which was 50 percent off you can't, listen, this is some of the things that you need to look for when thrifting. Look for quality candles. Not all the time will they be new like this one, but that's kind of, I, I look for these because I like to make like little gift bags for folks and I like to burn, burn nice scents in my home as well. So I like to keep this, I have like a cabinet full of candles. And they're candles that are 50, $60 candles, and I'm only paying more than a fraction of the cost. So, champagne toast. Now, this is another one I found, and this is by, and I'm going to butcher the name, um, Aquis. Aquis. This is winter current. I don't, it was just a nice, I, I know this brand. This brand is normally in um, Saks Fifth, Saks, Saks's. Um, and you might luck up during the holidays to get these at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but very rarely you wanna like keep, keep a lookout for um, this brand, but I got this for 50% off, guys. It was yellow tag. I'm feeling the yellow tags. Like, this is what I was, I'm like, this is what I need to do. I need to go in the store, find out which tags have the percentages off, and then just look for those tags. That's what I'm going to be doing from now on. Who knew? I knew, but I wasn't really paying attention because when I go into that store, I just, you know, I just don't know when I go into those thrift stores. It's like, 
a spirit has taken over my body. I cannot take any calls. I don't speak to anyone. If someone calls my name, I don't look. <laughs> I don't pay attention. I'm just focusing on the racks. <laughs> Speaking about 50% off, can I just tell you that I found Chanel, Coco Chanel, 50% off. Who wouldn't like to buy a nice bottle, full bottle? Because when I opened it up, and I'm like, ooh, this smells so good. Um, and I don't know if folks are Coco Chanel fans. I know people like Mademoiselle and the Saint Allure. Um, Chanel number no. five smells a little, little uh, grandma-ish, um, but the Coco Chanel is a classic. And look, full bottle. This is what I'm talking about. When you're going to thrift, go to the register first and look at all the fine goods. You can get something like this, Brand new, it hasn't even been touched. Mm. Divine, divine. And I can add this to my collection, which by the way, I did not forget about you guys because you guys, I mentioned it and you guys are staying on top of me. I am going to show you a um, scent perfume haul of all the items that I've been getting from the thrift store because I'm telling you, you go to the thrift store and I'm not saying for sure, so don't hold me to the wire to it, but not all the time you'll find something from a luxury house brand, but it doesn't hurt to try. When you walk in, just go straight to the, the register to see like any fine jewelry, um, any high brand goods. So you won't miss out on something like this. Let me show you what else. I got some dresses. I got some really cute dresses and I found another piece of workout clothing. Okay. Y'all know I'm only looking for Lululemon when I go to the store or Zell or like a, a high quality um, piece of gym clothing. This is just a t-shirt and these t-shirts they, I always check to see if there's any holes, um, to see if anything's worn underneath the arms. Um, for the most part, look at this. Perfect. So they had like a rack of Bob Mackie, vintage Bob Mackie shirts. And um, I'm gonna show you in one of blouses but I this one stood out to me only probably because of the summer and the yellow I just thought this was so cute vintage Bob Mackie again 50% off so this shirt was like two dollars and fifty cents look at this and I'm gonna try to style it for you so you can see how I would wear it probably with just some like jeans and like a nice cute little booty heel but it had some nice little crystals on it too. See the little sequins on the on the sleeve? I thought that was really cute. So Bob Mackie. Bob Mackie. I also found a cute pleated all saints pleated skirt. 50% off guys. I mean this is super Right? Wait. It's coming 
off. Does it come off like it has a stain? But it doesn't. It's. I think it's just the, um, the lighting, but it's, it's pleated. But it's no stain. It's no stain on here. Oh, there is. There is a stain. I don't even know if I can. You know what? I don't even have to worry about this because what I can do is take this off. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this totally off, which is the skirt of this, the dress. And I'm just going to keep this beautiful pleated tulle type skirt. And I can line this up with something more. I'm going to I'm gonna work on this and I'm going to do a before and after and show you guys on Instagram if you guys follow me. That's probably why it was $7 because all things is expensive. And there was a stain. See, I was so excited. You have to carefully look at your items because I was so excited and didn't realize. You see the stain right here? I don't know if I can get that out, but I know I'm gonna take it off anyways and line it with something totally different. Stay tuned for that. I know what didn't have a stain. This beautiful BCBG dress. And I'm going to, it's a size medium. This was $12, so I got it for six bucks. Look at this. you double check you want to look for tears you want to look for soiled underarm pits you want to look for stains like I didn't see in the previous skirt but it's okay because we can recreate something like that so if you guys love the, the finds that I found today please click like share subscribe tell a friend um, I will be posting some of these items up on my Poshmark closet or on my website have you guys visited my website 1013vintage.com link below click the link below visit say hi until then guys I'll see you guys soon